Hello there, Bobo, the big corner is back. Bitcoin is going to touch $100,000 soon. Oh my God, Bitcoin parabolic has begun. This time more intense than the one I experienced in 2017 where the Bitcoin price went up $1,000 every few days. This time, we will see that Bitcoin is going up $5,000 every few days. That's beyond imagination. The upcoming parabolic will be the one you and or me or we are can never ever forget for the rest of our life. I mean, in terms of investment, yeah? have you ever seen any worldly asset shoot up like that? Not gold, not shares, not bond, not even property. How can a uh, asset like Bitcoin hop and jump a few steps each time or each lap or leap just crazy isn't it it's crazily amazing no words can describe this once in a lifetime feeling i was fortunate uh, to experience uh, 2017 parabolic which many of you probably have missed out. Now, I am going to experience another round, this time more powerful. And I would like to invite every one of you here to share this moment of magic. So, don't miss out. I always say, investing in Bitcoin, no need to watch the price every day. Lah, huh? Just once in a while. You know, in March uh, to mid-October this year, when the price was hanging around 60000 Bitcoin is doing nothing. Right now, it's different. I invite you to glue to the monitor like a hawk to catch these fireworks. You cannot afford this uh, to miss this once in a lifetime sensation. <clears throat> Anytime the price of Bitcoin is going to break $100,000, I predicted $100,000 uh, to be by end of this year. But seems like Christmas is coming earlier. Chances is when it broke 100,000, it will take a quicker breather and then go up to the moon. Why am I so confident? Here are the reasons. When Bitcoin ETF was approved in January this year, I thought Bitcoin will explode like wholesale huh? because it means America officially recognized Bitcoin. But what I didn't realize and I learned later is institution could not simply jump into Bitcoin ETF just like that because the compliance wise they still have to go through the in-house acceptance and government compliances. This usually will take uh, six to nine months uh, to be ready. That's what I learned. Those who are ready are already jumping. That's why in March uh, uh, this year, we saw Bitcoin go all-time high of $73,600. Just before the halving. But since March to mid-October, Bitcoin is hanging around 60,000, neither going here or there. Bitcoin has been bottled up 
for too long. The pressure has to be released. The suppression is too long. It has to blow off its steam. That's when the second point, auction comes in. You see, Bitcoin auction, uh, uh, big Bitcoin auction the, for Bitcoin ETF was approved for Blackstone and launched on the 19th of November. All hell break loose. This was the game institution has been waiting for. This is the traditional gameplay of the institution. There's no need to acquire the underlying asset Bitcoin, no compliances to follow. You only invest with the paper contract. You either make a, a call or put contract. Or too long to explain the auction here. The gist of auction here is player gamble without having to buy Bitcoin directly. The market player or maker, in this case BlackRock, has to buy Bitcoin when the auction contract is open. This is in case the player want to take up the underlying asset uh, before maturity. That really was a push. The Bitcoin price went up so fast because it actually uh, create a buying pressure. BlackRock has to buy Bitcoin from the market. So far, BlackRock is the only one uh, playing the game. Soon, Fidelity, Bitwise, Art Invest, Grayscale, and the rest of the Bitcoin ETF asset manager will be jumping in into the fray. Another possible escalation. These are what happened already, right? <coughs> and Bitcoin is already $98,000 today. What about the expectation? Donald Trump, uh, Donald Trump president is confirmed to be inaugurated on the 20th of January 2025. His biggest proclamation is America will be the crypto capital of the world. And he promised to bring the Bitcoin and its crypto technology back to America. He assured Bitcoin will be made in America. In other words, my in America. He promises to deregulate the crypto industry. He was already been uh, lining up all the crypto inclined candidate for his cabinet. This deregulation is huge. It affects all government agencies, even President uh, Biden veto of Sub one to one, SAB one to one is expected to be overturned. Sub one to one, which mandates institution holding crypto asset must record this holding as liabilities on their balance sheet, and forbid the bank to uh, custodian crypto, to uh, buy or sell crypto like the exchange, and forbid the bank to put Bitcoin into their reserve. At the moment, banks are discouraged from supporting the crypto industry. Credits are tightened and transactions are restricted. Crypto tax will be reviewed. Currently, crypto gain tax is 37%. So obviously, clearly, clear regulation will help the industry. What we need to be tightened will be tightened. What need to be 
allowed to explore and expand should be allowed to flourish rather than obstructing the technological advancement. And of course, the Bitcoin Act proposed by uh, Cynthia Lumis, a potential US strategic Bitcoin reserve. This may take a while to come into fruition, but the possibility is very high. Cynthia Lumis proposed converting some gold reserve into Bitcoin. This shows Into Bitcoin. Donald Trump is very serious on this subject now. And he is already proposing to set up a crypto advisory council to help the industry in its advancement. So the expectation is very uh, high and highly possible. Once materialized, we will be looking at one million dollar in the not too long future. One million thing. Enjoy my friend. See you next time. Bye bye.